Okay guys, how are you doing again? Um, today in this tutorial we're going to do some um, macro patty. Uh, we've got a wee confession to make, this is the second time I've done it. Um, the last one I did I forgot to put the mic on, so there was no sound. So, uh, <laughs> this is the second attempt. Okay guys, here we go with the ingredients. So what we need is, first of all, is some nice smoked uh, mackerel. Uh, these are from the supermarket, um, probably 150 I think it was. So first thing we want to do is we want to take the, the skin off and get rid of that. Um, a nice little bowl here to put the flesh in. Okay, sometimes it's an easy job, sometimes it's a tricky job, depending on the mackerel. Okay. As much as you can off. Might not all come off, but as much as you can. into a bowl and what we're looking here for we can detect any wee bones the bones will be very soft anyway but if you can pick any wee bones out and get them out of the mixture that's fine okay so just flake it just flake it in that's fine like that If you're doing this in a larger scale, you do it in a food processor where you would just put it in and blitz it all. All your ingredients in and blitz them together. Okay, so there we go. Here's a macro. We just want to break this up with a fork a wee bit. Just mush it up a wee bit. It's coarse, this is like a coarse macro party. Then what we want to do is uh, introduce the other ingredients. So what we have here is we have some creme fraiche, some horseradish sauce, spring onion, lemon, chives and parsley from the garden. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to chop up the uh, chives. Okay. So just cut them into a nice wee bundle like that. It's easy to cut. to a uh, macro parsley which has been previously washed first of all from the garden and that's the chop as well And some melted butter, okay. This is helps, this is what helps bind it together and make it into a patty, okay. So we just mix all that together. So you could put this into molds now. Let it sit in the fridge. Yeah. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some cling foam. I'll stick my mixture 
전해요. Should I get it all out? Okay. Now just going to roll it. the ends. There we have, there's our micro patty that can go into the fridge now and it will set and then we can just slice it and that will go nicely with the oat cakes that we've made and I'll just sit and top with a bit of salad, maybe some fresh chutney of sorts. Um, so there we have it, micro patty, very easy, it's a fast thing to do but very effective. No matter cheese, malt, cheddar, cheese, oat cakes, this will be fantastic. So give it a try, send me some pictures, show me what you've done. Okay? Thank you.